Plenty of young people across BC are involved in a very adult underworld, gangs. Today, a workshop put on by the Justice Education Society of BC made a stop in Prince George. Local RCMP and service providers are ganging up to keep kids on the safer path. Amir Javid wasn't always giving presentations on how to fight gangs. He used to belong to one. I got compelled to actually reach out and start working with youth. Um, as a young guy, I had been involved in gangs. And so I felt really, really wanting to do something to discourage other youth. It was a full room at the Native Friendship Centre as Javid spoke at the Youth, Crime and Gangs workshop. It's important because um, the police have a lot of discretion in what they do with youth and how they interact in their communities. And I think if they know about the services available from service providers and what they do, then they can also do referrals to those uh, services. About 65 people showed up from the RCMP and service agencies to learn more about gangs. Children as young as 10 can be recruited. I always say it's about the relationship. Uh, kids that are involved are really uh, involved because they finally have a sense of uh, camaraderie, a sense of community, a place that they belong. It's a challenge for the RCMP to fight the flashy lifestyles kids are attracted to. One way is to remind them they're not above the law. We're bringing in the education as to, you know, when you turn 18, this is what this can look like. These are what the ramifications can be. Even when you're a youth, this is the potential ramifications. Kids with unstable home lives and little money are easy pickings for gangs, but there are some middle class kids trying their hand at fast cash. I did get a sense that now the gangs are more, um, especially uh, youth gangs, are more violent than before and more, uh, so, uh, they're not as sophisticated. A legal scare isn't enough for some kids to close the door on the gang life. For me, the hardest thing uh, to convince youth is to leave the lifestyle behind. Gangs fluctuate constantly. You have things happening all the time, so there's opportunities to leave. But how do you leave a lifestyle that you've become accustomed to? The money, the, uh, the lack of accountability, uh, not having to really answer to anything or anyone. It's not easy, but some do get out. Javid is a perfect example of that. He and many others are working to make sure more kids don't get trapped in the gang lifestyle. Kelly Lanahan, CKPG News.